She looked at the menu. She looked me dead in the eye. She said, oh, Sean, have you ever had a vegetarian fad, Jeter? <laughs> I'm Sean, nice to meet you, good to be here. Um, I, I'm a queer person, I'm the sort of queer person that believes gender identity exists on a spectrum. I'm also really aware that the point I occupy on the spectrum is just me and the hosts of the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Past, present, future. <laughs> Best thing about being a lesbian called Sean is that I've already got a great name for my autobiography. Memoirs of a Gay Sean. <laughs> Do you know what I realised the other day? This hit me hard. I actually prefer ready salted crisps now. <laughs> when does that start happening? I wasn't prepared, no one had warned me. Is it a gradual thing? Could you plot a graph? Age going up in numbers, crisp intensity decreasing down the side. You could see the correlation of the loss of the flavour sensation. And is it more like you just wake up one day in your early 30s, someone offers you a bag of frazzles, it's like your old personal bush dog a trial. <laughs> started giving advice like me dad. <laughs> I have. Started giving advice like me dad. I don't know why, it's just <laughs> happened. My friend split up with her husband. I went round her house to make sure she was okay. I put up two shelves and bled her radiators. <laughs> I still don't know what's going on, but I'm back next week to re the bathroom. <laughs> People come to me as well for this dad advice. My cousin, he's just had a baby. He'll be a great dad, but at the moment he's a bit young. He's a bit naive. He's a bit stupid, if I'm honest. He said to me, Sean, how long is it till I can leave the baby on his own? <laughs> I mean, that could be anywhere from eight to 18 years, couldn't it? Depending on where you're going, how long you're going for, and how many of your ridiculous personality traits this poor child's inherited. <laughs> Turned into me mum as well, that happens. They warn you though, don't they girls? They warn you about this, you'll turn into your mum, you will. They don't tell you when it'll happen. <laughs> tell you when it happened to me. Week three, lockdown one. <laughs> there was an Agatha Christie on, and I went, mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit of me. <laughs> put the telly on to watch it, put the kettle on for a brew, went upstairs, forgot why I was up there, wallpapered the back bedroom. <laughs> Come back down three hours later, Poirot's only just getting on the train, I'd missed nothing. Very long, aren't they, them program? Very long. <laughs> I am, I'm turning into her, I know I am, because I'm doing all the mad <laughs> she does, I can't help myself. I'm smelling things no one else can smell. <laughs> I've started feeling drafts that nobody else can feel. <laughs> and what I've been doing lately is when people come round my house and tell me they're not hungry, I've started just listing everything I've got in the cupboards. <laughs> and everything I could make from those ingredients and everything I wouldn't mind popping down the shop to get for them. Till eventually they just relent and have a packet of crisps to shut me up. Then we have an argument because they've had all my ready salted. <laughs> it's a nightmare, but it's my life. I've got a cupboard in my kitchen full of cakes that no one's allowed to eat. They're just there in case I get emergency visitors. <laughs> Drawer in the sideboard full of cards in case it's an emergency birthday. I've got a Christmas cupboard. I'm putting stuff away. I'm hiding it. I don't know who I'm hiding it from. I live on my own. <laughs> the dog's not asked. He's a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Another thing I'm not doing that mums love to do, just mispronouncing words for no apparent reason. I've never popped into a Matterland. <laughs> never looked at a menu and gone, oh, Oh, I think I'll have the hummus, because they can't pronounce food. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if it's to do with the menopause or when they change the name of Oil of Eule, but they're like an iPhone that needs an upgrade. If they've got to remember something, they'll have to forget something. If they've got to say baba ganoush with the correct intonation, they'll forget how to mash a potato. <laughs> I was in a pub once with my mum. She looked at the menu. She looked me dead in the eye. She said, oh, Sean, have you ever had a vegetarian fad, Jeter? <laughs> No one wants to come out in a weather spoon, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I've been Sean Davis, you've been lovely, thank you. <laughs>